Today's task is going to be incredibly funny and very hard to play through as well because I'm taking on the worst talent of FC24. His name is Mulan. He is from China. He is 18 years old. And I can confirm to you over here on this screen as well that he is actually one of the lowest rated players in the game. As a striker, 47 rating, 55 potential. It genuinely cannot get even worse than that or... Maybe it can because he's in a team with Fellaini, so I already kind of feel bad for him. The way this journey will be even more exciting than previous FIFAs is we have a player with zero playstyles. And you guys know playstyles are basically everything when it comes to FC24. So every time we play a game, we have a chance to fill that up. Every single season, we only have one opportunity, one game that we have to play against one of the top three sides in the league where we have to get a goal contribution. If we do get a goal contribution, that is a simple play style added in, the one of our choice. But if he manages to get three goal contributions in one game, that will be a play style plus added in into these lost and open slots right here. He doesn't have anything yet. And hopefully by the end of today's video, he will be one of the best players in world football and we will have someone with the most ridiculous play styles on him. To start things off, I personally want to have a player that can skill and someone that can also ideally strike the ball as well. But skilling at first is unnecessary. So I think the weak foot improvement is going to be more important to start off this career with. So, hey, this man, Mijit Mulan, is getting the weak foot improvement and that first name right there is so dangerous i shouldn't just say it like that i'm just gonna say mulan all right oh and by the way as we move through time right here the way this will work is as we get into later stages there will be different challenges as well that we can achieve to add things to his rating his skill moves weak foot if necessary like becoming the top scorer of a league or doing something special during gameplay so don't you worry, we'll do plenty of things with this man because he needs all the help he can get. Quite a bit into the season and our team is currently first. That is incredible to see. And Rong Cheng FC is the opponent that I've chosen. They are currently third placed and I would like to smack them up with our boy in the squad. He's actually got up to a 51, which is quite impressive. His shooting, I believe, has gone up by plus two and he now has a five star week foot. First time we ever get to play with him. 19 years old now, six foot tall. First game for the playstyles. Let's do it. What number does he even wear? I have no idea, you know. Where is he? He has the number 43. All right, there he is with the orange shoes. I like that. Orange shoes, I'll be able to tell which position he's in. And of course, we are playing an ultimate difficulty. So yeah, good luck to me, I guess. Honestly, the movement of these lads is horrible, but at least we have Fellaini. Here he goes. Mulan. Oh, mate. Can he play a pass? No, he cannot. He cannot. How Hold on. Might have a chance here to run and shoot. First shot of his career. And it honestly wasn't too bad. Under control of the ball. He's running. He's going. Pace is something he does have. Oh, wait. Oh, passing. Definitely something he doesn't have. Cuts in. It's a decent pass. Hold on. There's a run. Oh, Mulan. 1v1. Come on, lad. Oh my god, his control is so bad. Did you see how the ball kept bouncing as he was trying to control it during his sprint? He genuinely is the worst player I've used. Tenpu cuts in, runs. I like this guy, whoever he is. Mulan! <sighs> oh, mate. Good passing. Oh, if we score off of this, could be an assist for him, you know. But I want him to score himself. He's inside. Oh, he hits the target. Oh, mate. Two chances, two shots on target. I cannot even express how hard I tried to get a goal with him in this game, but it just was impossible. And no playstyles will be added on. The first season with our boy, he will just have to go ahead and grow naturally and hopefully get to a stage where he's usable next season. We're going to stay in China for one more year. So in China, the seasons actually go from January to December, as we can tell right here. And I do wonder, the team has done extremely well, right? First place, that's good. I want to see where our player has stopped with his development. It's a 52 rating with 68 pace, 51 shooting. 
Passing, dribbling, defending, physicality, all that stuff is just horrible. Especially dribbling is something I would love to improve with him. Maybe we give him that play style where he does like insane tricks. At some point, that's possible. But until then, he has only two star skill moves right now. So we'll try and fix that up. And uh, now, in terms of his stats, anyone? Did he get any go any goals? Hold on. Was Fellaini? Fellaini is a top scorer. 15 and 2. As a 37-year-old, good job for him. But where's our boy? He has one assist in 25 games. <laughs> He's so trash. 25 games into the season right now. And our team is on 43 points, having scored 41 goals. And we are going to be playing against Shanghai Port FC, the first place squad this time around. And our boy is on a 56 rating. Five star, five star. That is great, but mind you, he still is probably horrific in front of goal. So let's try our best because this is the last time. Yes, the last time we'll be in China. After this season, we are getting a move on to... I don't know where, but it will be exciting. Going into this, I don't even know if I should be hoping for one goal contribution or should I be hoping for possibly three? Because 56 rating definitely is way better than last time around. And even last time around, we got two shots on target, so... Let's see how it goes. Oh, it will start with conceding a goal in the sixth minute. Shanghai scores. Wu Lei, the former Espanol striker. Come on, run. Oh, that would have been a great pass. Oh, he's still in the control. Go on. Please. No, it's the post. No. Why does it say Molan behind him? But then in, in the game itself, it says Mulan. I've never been this confused. Chen Pu down the fullback position. Liu Yang, he is tired. Oh my. Go on. That's me. Oh, it's the side net. Okay, we have covered the post, the side net. It would be nice if you could put it into the back of the net, though. Keep moving. Yeah. Looking for Fern Fernanduo. Sorry. Fernanduo. Sprinting. There's our striker. Please. You gotta be kidding. Yes! Get in there! Oh, bro, I'm telling you, his finishing is so terrible. But it's the first play style that we're gonna be acquiring. Plenty of time in the second half left, but I honestly don't think he has the capabilities to get two more goal contributions. I'll try, though. There he is. He's open again. Five star skill move. Shot! He's straight at the keeper again. Honestly. His finishing is just so terrible. He cannot get the ball on target. If he does, it's straight at the keeper. And it's a lucky situation, if anything. And we're going to concede one more. It's 2-1 for our opponents. It's not just about the player as well. I'm trying to help this team. But defensively, it's shocking. Go on. Chen Pu. Keeper lumped. <laughs> Who are you? And why are you so good? Chen Pu scores off the kickoff. We don't mind. And that's the end of the game. 2-2 against the first place team in the league. And we had a good match with our boy. So he has earned his first place style. Let me reveal to you which one I have actually given him. The finesse shot, of course, because he is horrible at finishing. So I was thinking when I get into those 1v1 situations, I might at least be able to curve the ball around the keeper. Just a thought. Please do better next time. Let's finish off this season and see where we're going. So by the end of this season, our lad has gone up to a 57 rating. Five star, five star has earned himself the finesse shot trait. And now the question becomes, if I actually unlock a play style plus... Do I just go for the finesse shot plus or do I go for something else? I think I would actually rather go for something else. But our team has finished in the third position, which is good enough. We have done really well in this squad most of the time. But I do want to see if he's actually improved upon the two goals only that he had last time around. Ten goals. There we go. No, he didn't even have goals last season. He only had two assists. So here we go. That's five times more goal contributions. What the hell is wrong with a non-duo, by the way. Wow, this man is 20 and 8. But we are moving away from China. Off we go. From China, we are now going to Ireland. 
Yes, we are joining the Irish League and we are joining Bohemians who actually might have one of the best looking kits in the game. And Mulan is coming in in a swap deal for Afo Lobby. He is going and this man is taking over the club. Williams, get out of here. Any striker will be dropped because we have a new king in town. And while we are in Ireland, we're going to try and get a top four finish for sure with this team. It is not a bad looking team at all, by the way. Some decent ratings and most of them, I mean, actually, actually nearly all of them, apart from the center back right here, are all higher rated than our boy. So this is the perfect place for him to be. He can become a better football player. That's what I'm looking for. And here it is now, halfway through the season. Bohemian FC is on the fifth position. Shamrock Rovers in first. That is the team I want to challenge, but... I want to see how our boy is doing. Before we go in there, 62 rated. Oh, that pace is going up. Good shooting, decent dribbling there as well. Lots of things that I'm currently working on with the development plans, but this is his chance to prove himself as the main guy of this team, unless he's already that guy. 10 goals and one assist already. Get in there, plus five already. I do have one thing uh, that I have changed from previous uh, FIFAs where we have done this type of content. And of course, it's the team strategy. I always go into these new clubs and bring in the best coaches. That way, he's getting massive amounts of growth, which definitely helps. Run in there. I need you to run in. Inside. What? <sighs> Honestly, the man has no clue of where to run in these types of moments. And it just shows that his attack positioning is horrible. But then he gets past one and shoots. And it's not a finish because it wasn't needed. But that should have been a goal. Unless we can create something here. Again. Good passing. There he is again. Another turn. Another shot. It's a goal. It's a goal for a boy to finish shot. Yes. Bohemians leading against Shamrock Rovers. Get in there, Mulan. That's a good save. What? Penalty? Ah, oh, mate. The ref didn't even blow the whistle. He was ashamed to give this penalty. That's what happened right here. Save it again. No, can't save it. 1-1. One, one. Definitely a very, very tough game here against a very strong Shamrock Rovers squad. They deserved this draw at the end of the day. But one thing I can tell you is... Our boy is doing a good job so far. And we save that. Kick it away. Whew. It's going to end 1-1. I just want to say we are getting a play style. But I'm actually not going for anything that has anything to do with shooting here. He needs to improve his dribbling. It's horrific. And the play style I'm going for in this case to add to his tally is going to be one that will help me dribble better. It is press proven. Press Proven keeps close control of the ball while dribbling at jog speed and can shield the ball more effectively from stronger opponents. I think that's going to be very good for him because a lot of times he's surrounded by defenders and I am twisting and turning and nothing's happening except them getting the ball off of him. The season has come to an end now and look at that. Shamrock Rovers has been beaten 2-0 in the end and I do wonder... Ooh, top two! Get in there! That is amazing! I'm very, very pleased with that. Dundalk is in that first position. I'm definitely mispronouncing that. But hey, guys, we have had a great career over here in Ireland. I am already wanting to move on. I got to be honest because he's 64 rated. Two play styles already added in. And he's just going to get better and better. From this point on, I actually feel like slowly I can maybe expect off of myself to get multiple goal contributions per game. But until then, we'll see. 37 games. 18 goal contributions and a completely new league for himself. That is a great performance from our lads right here. Coming in with them orange Nikes that actually up close look ugly as hell. But hey, it's fine. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. There you go. Look at them ugly Nikes. Actually, it looks like I'm him. I am him now. Our journey takes us to Germany and a club that is currently in the mud. Arminia Bielefeld is a team that desperately might need the help. This is a used-to-be Bundesliga squad that now is taking on our new striker. It is, of course, our boy joining and he has the stats to back it up. He is, yet again, 
lower rated than some of the players within this starting 11, which again is something I love because by the end of the season, that could be totally different. But yeah, he is prepared for the uh, third Bundesliga, I assume. They should be in the third. But let me actually check. Are we in the third Bundesliga or... Oh, uh-oh. We are in Bundesliga too. And by the way, we are halfway through the season already because... Chinese League and the Irish League go from January to December in FC24. So we joined them halfway through the season, trying to avoid relegation. What bigger goal could we set ourselves than that one? The game that I want to play is going to have a huge impact on the team's season. We are in the 15th position. If we do win, we go up to 29 and establish a six-point gap to the, fifth, to, the, uh, to the 16th spot in the league. And at the top, it is Schalke. And that is the team I want to take on. Away game against Schalke. Let's do it. Adam. What? What? <laughs> okay. I guess that's 1-0 for Schalke. I mean... <laughs> anyways, forget about it. Mulan. Down the right. He has his buddy making a run. Oh, please, get me an assist. Get me an assist. Run. Shot. Oh, it's a good shot. But man, even better save, sadly. This game is done. I could do absolutely nothing against the Schalke team. I was incapable to create a single attack, it feels like. We have to stay in this in the second Bundesliga for one more season if we don't get relegated. This league is our level right now. Lads, we are now in the playoffs. Yes, the playoffs for relegation. If we lose this, we go down to the third division. First game is a dub. Second game is a draw. All right, we are staying in the second Bundesliga. Arminia Bielefeld has survived, and our boy has only gone up to a 67. Much, not much growth, but then again, it was only half a season. And I need to take a look into how many goals he has managed to score in that time. He has come up with three goals in 13 games. That is not amazing. I totally understand. And we have missed the opportunity to do well against Schalke next uh, this season, but... I am quite happy that we survived, despite the fact that we had fallen into that 16th position that I was so scared of. And if we did get a win against Schalke, we wouldn't have been in here. We would have been in that 14th position. But it worked out. We are still going to be a Bundesliga 2 team. And I'm going to stick around for one more season. Once again, this team is struggling against relegation. We are the candidates to go down again. And Heidenheim is in the second spot. That's the team I've chosen to play against. And right now, our boy is on a 72. Surely that can be good enough for me to get a goal right here. We are one of the highest rated players in the starting 11. Right back, pushing forward. Go on. Cut in. Oh, mate, what a terrible move. It's not going to count as an assist, but... Bujelop makes it 1-0. Into the middle and off we go on the left. I see that run. It's a crazy pass inside. A boy is dribbling. He's cutting in. He's shooting straight at the keeper. And he gets it again. I thought it was done. Bro, he is still so terrible at finishing. It's not even funny. But you know what? It's only 26 minutes into this game. And I am thinking, maybe we go for three. So I have plenty of numbers down the right here with Mulan now inside over the top oh is that gonna be a goal yes it is 50 minutes in two goal contributions guys we just need one more one more ah oh, man if that first goal actually counted as an assist we would be done by now 90th minute it's just not happening I swear I feel like I didn't touch the ball once for the remainder of the game which is just insane to me we were so close, so freaking close for a playstyle plus, but instead it's just going to be a regular one. Right now it's finished, shot and press proven, and the new Mulan has gotten himself rapid. Yes, I need something about his pace, but every time I'm up against the defender 1v1, they just catch up to me and it's annoying. The season is finished and Bielefeld has not gotten relegated or has to fight against the relegation. That is great. I will take that on board and move on because that win that we have gotten was an important one. It's only a four-point gap to Kaiserslautern. At the top, we have the likes of Hertha, Heidenheim and Darmstadt who are trying to get back into the Bundesliga themselves. But our boy is now on a 73 rating for a player that is 23 years old 
That is not amazing, but he now has 84 pace with 72 shooting, 70 dribbling. Things are looking much better now, and he has three playstyles on top of it. It is, however, time to move on from Bielefeld. We are going to be joining a new club in the next season. 35 games, 15 goals, and one assist. Surely someone is interested in buying this man. And the next club we are going to is owned by fans. Yes, that is the premise that we're setting, and it is Real Oviedo. Mulan is joining a second division Spanish side going from second division Germany to a second division Spanish one because obviously I still need this guy to grow a lot more there's a long way to go in his career and this could be the ideal club for him to join up top in that striker position he comes in with the 74 rating which is actually not the highest in the squad this man has the highest rated uh highest rating in the squad but generally speaking it is a good team that we can definitely get quite far in la liga too real oviedo is now in the 10th position halfway through the season and cadiz is at the top of the league and of course i will take them on because mulan is now 78 rated 89 pace 78 shooting this is the last season he's going to play in second divisions and all that. So let's smash our opponents. Colombato back and forward now. Mulan is in a good spot. Can he shoot here? It's a goal! Mulan, seven minutes in. He is amazing. He scores and doesn't hit the goalkeeper straight away. It is finally happening. A boy is becoming a good striker. He's getting past people now with ease. Oh, I love it. It's a good pass on top. Ah, it's a better save, sadly. Now sprinting. Oh, man. He, he went offside. I need to back off again. Mulan is sprinting. Multiple people chasing. Good pass. Back inside. Mulan. No, man. Score. Nah, it's too easy. Kadi scores. It's completely open at the back. It's the 50th minute, man. I haven't been able to establish any attacks after that goal that we scored. But that, yes, come on. Throw, 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 throw. What are you waiting for? Honestly. Yes, here we go. That could be an assist for Mulan, you know. We're running, we're running. Cutting in. Mulan! Two! It makes it two with five minutes to go. I don't think that's enough. Mulan scores another one. It's still like, I don't understand why he has two styles of writing his name in one game it makes no sense Moyano over the top for him Moyano cuts in sees Mulan on the run is this it is this the moment no it's not it just isn't 92nd minute I tried man it's two goal contributions that's the maximum we've had so far but he gets another play style at least you know what since our guy is six foot tall I thought hey we need him on corners so he is getting the power header play style added into it. But honestly, by now, I thought I would have at least one play style plus. Mulan has come in third in the top scorers in La Liga Hypermotion. And here's the catch. If he was to get first place from now on, if he gets it in any league he plays in, we are able to give him a plus 10 in any of his stats that we choose. That's the way that we used to do these worst player rebuilds or one player career mode uh, videos. But he is now up to an 80 by the end of the season with amazing pace, great shooting, and also on top, much better dribbling. And of course, the four play styles. He is becoming someone that should be highly desirable for multiple clubs in world football. And Real Oviedo, thanks to him, have come in in that seventh spot. Yes, missed out on playoffs, but we have put them into a decent position here to hopefully establish themselves in the future. But no more second division football for our guy. AC Milan has a new striker. And if I'm not mistaken, Inter's owner is a Chinese company. If I'm not mistaken. So this is going to be fun. We have a Chinese man coming in to play for AC Milan to beat the club that is owned by a Chinese company. I could be completely wrong, but he is coming in into a squad that has Rafa Leao on a 91. Pulisic. On that right wing, Tijani, Reinders, and Garcia. Alex Garcia, my man. I love to see him here. And then we have Ben Acer, And the defense actually looks quite solid, apart from the fact that Pobega is in here. But I'm just realizing Kim Min-Jae is part of this squad. 
Palacios is in here. Bro, Palacios and Alex Garcia. Those are two of my favorite players to watch right now. They are in here. Anyone else? We have Doku. Oh, get out of here, Pulisic. Let me take you out of there quickly. And then some other decent players as well. Yeah, this AC Milan team is nuts. And they are going to support our boy big time. I want that top scorer this season, pal. Look at the impact of our boy. 37 points on AC Milan. Pretending that it was actually just our boy doing all the work. But hey, it is looking good. And we are going to be playing against Inter just now, who are in that third position. I want to beat them and let them know that there's no chance they can overtake us. Our team so far is unbeaten, by the way. And our boy has 10 goals. Yes, give me more. I want at least 20 goal contributions by the end of the season. And now I am taking on Inter. It is time for this derby. And you know what? If we enjoy ourselves over here in this AC Milan team, we might as well stick around. That's going to be one thing to think about for sure, because not every video of this type has to end in the Premier League. The Premier League is not the almighty league that always, always dominated football. Italian division back in the day, especially AC Milan with some of their incredible teams of the past, they were so impressive. Palacios. No, that's not going to work out. But there he is again on the ball. Left foot. Once more. Bro, it was his signature move. Hitting the goalkeeper with a shot and then getting another shot off. Right? It's a pen. It's a freaking pen. Ah, oh, man. He shot already. You can't be given. I'm giving away so many penalties today. It's insane. Oh, I have Ramsdale in goal. Get in there. Big save, buddy. Play a perfect pass. Oh, Rafa Leao is through. It's the derby. I got to score this. I have to. I can't be waiting for our boy to run through. Rafa Leao, 1-0. AC Milan hits the gritty. Him, yes. Solid tackle. Run, lads. There it is. Palacios' is pass. Rafa Leao getting involved. Sprinting. Playing a pass into our main man. He strikes it with all his might. 55th minute. AC Milan's tiny striker. Mulan is doing it. This team is sick. I want to stay here. I am staying at AC Milan until the end of the career of this man, or at least a Champions League final. Oh, wow. Really? That goes in? What the hell is Ramsdale doing? That looked like one of the weakest finesse shots I've ever seen in my life. Ooh, mistakes were made. Finesse shot trait. Get in there. Oh, please, please, please. One more goal contribution. That's all I'm asking for. I just want one play style plus. Please, make it happen. Keeper's out. Keeper's out. I'm going to move Mulan out. I'm going to move him out. Switch players. Go on, Mulan. Go on. Oh, please. Keeper's out, bro. Pass. Run. Run, Doku. You just have to score. You just have to score. That's all you got to do. Yes, it's his third goal contribution. 90th minute. It took me so many seasons. I'm actually kind of embarrassed, but at the same time, I'm happy. Yes, it's the end. Three points for AC Milan. And here's that moment I've been waiting for for such a long time. He is getting that one play style that I think is so important for a striker. Power shot plus. If we can just blast the ball past the keeper much faster than usual, it surely will be helping us. Lads, we just got past the likes of Real Sociedad to now play against Atalanta Bergamo, and we are through into the semifinals of the Champions League. AC Milan is already in there, which I wasn't really paying attention to up until now. Barcelona semifinal win. Come on. Yes, we got through on penalties. Oh my God, we actually did it. Bro, what was that? 5-5 five, five on aggregate and then on penalties, I think. Yes, we did make it through. Bro, for one second, I, I thought I read that wrong. We are going to be playing against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League final already. I thought we had to go another season with AC Milan, but look at him. He's 86 rated. Yes, his passing sucks. But he has 92 pace and 85 shooting. This is Mulan. He was the lowest and worst rated player in the game. And now he has five play styles. One of them, the play style plus of the power shot, which we get to test out now. Initially, I only wanted to play one game, but hey, I am definitely playing the Champions League final. This team has done wonders for us. And if we go in, 
We see him on 26. Yes. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Is he the top scorer of the league? Because that means I could go ahead and boost his stats once more before we go into the Champions League final. No, he isn't. Actually, hold on. That's the Champions League. I'm looking for Serie A. Serie A? Nope. It's Ozyman. 28 goals. Talking about the Serie A, actually. How do we do there? I completely forgot about it. Now I'm getting excited about Champions League football. AC Milan at the top. Yes! He has won that trophy. Beautiful. Coppa Italia. How about that one? Yes, it's a double season and we could make it a treble right now. So far, 100% the most fun I've had recording on FC24. I have to say that straight off the bat. So if you guys have any ideas of other these types of videos about like certain players, let me know in the comments down below which ones you'd be interested in because I'm definitely interested in recording more of this style of video. This was the worst player on FC24. Maybe next up, we can do something different. Let me know. Uh-oh. Opened up that lane in the center. Not a smart move from me. Keeper needs to come out. And he just about gets a touch on it, which was much needed. Oh, wow. The, the way he just sprints. Yeah. Oh, Penda, I am not surprised you are the top scorer in the Champions League. That pace burst was unstoppable. Wow, that is some football. That is some football they're playing. And I think Ramsdale might have saved that one with his face, but that is fine with me. Rafaleo, oh, it's a terrible attempt of a pass. I wanted to go for our main man, but he was just not open enough. Look at that. Look at the movement of the ball. Penalty given away. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? But if I'm an Atletico player, I'm fuming. That could have been their goal. And this could be saved. I've done it once. I can do it twice. Get in there. How in the world is he keeping that under his control? What am I doing? What am I doing? Honestly, I'm just giving away this Champions League final, am I not? This is such a disappointment. Years of hard work to get to this stage. Yes, you have won the league title and everything, but Still, man, you have to perform on this stage here, and we just haven't. What a letdown. All the way down the right. Yes, Doku. Running, running, running. Come on, Doku. Come on, Doku. How come he doesn't have that sprint play style? Why is there no one? Yes! Oh, wh where was my striker going? Mulan, where are you going, man? 20 minutes to go. I need more goals. At least one. Ah, oh, he's just gone. He's just gone, isn't he? Nah, he plays it through my legs, too. This is the 90th minute cheese. Or maybe not. Maybe not. This could be the 90th minute cheese. Mulan with the pass. Rafaleo with the sprint. Rafaleo. Mulan is next to him. And he will score 2-2 two, two in the 92nd minute. This game is just nuts. I cannot believe what I've just witnessed. AC Milan with the comeback of dreams. And off we go into extra time. This game has just turned around big time. I didn't think we would make it. I genuinely nearly gave up. I am going to be making some changes though. It's time for McAllister and Tijani Rinders to come in. And I am also going to be bringing on... Do I use Chukvu? Or maybe Pobega? Pobega is a beast defensively. I'm going to bring him into that midfield too. And then on the right wing... It's going to be... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, he's not going anywhere. He's playing. Atleti. Oh, mate. They're just gliding past me right now. Gravenberg. Last minute. Don't do this to me. Yes. We're going into penalties, lads. I can't believe this. Who am I going to give the, the penalty here? I think I'm going to go with the boy as the fifth. Oh, no. It chooses by itself. What the hell? Openda. Ah, scores. McAllister. Just got subbed on, and he scores. Barella, he is going bottom right. Nope, he's going left. All right, he keeps going left. Mulan, he's not good at penalties, is he? Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> it is Castellanos, Tati Castellanos. Down the center, Tijani. Tijani, come on, Tijani. Come on, Tijani. Yes, mate. Bentancur. Oh, I read him like a book. Rafaleo against all block. Rafaleo. And now to save it, or if we don't save it, just score once more. Travenbash goes down the right. It's not a good penalty, but if I score this next one, it's done. It is Pedro Porro. It's too much power. But it's also too accurate. We've done it. 
AC Milan and Mulan have done it in the end. <laughs> Get in there. There he is. He's walking on to lift that trophy along his teammates. AC Milan's new striker coming in and just taking over immediately and taking this team to a whole new level. Pobega gets to lift the trophy. It's fine with me. Guys, this has been the most fun I've had so far on FC24. And I hope you enjoyed this as well. If you did, make sure to smash that like, subscribe to the channel. We are 10,000 subs away from 500,000. Let's make it happen. I appreciate you all. Have a good day. And Mulan is now one of the best strikers in world football. Congratulations, AC Milan. Have a good day, guys. Take care and peace.